In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to purchase GMR Finance using the Trust Wallet. So first of all, what you're going to need is to download the Trust Wallet. You can do this either from Google Play or the App Store. So just search in Trust Wallet, download it, and then you'll need to set up your wallet with a few security phrases and a password as well. Make sure that you keep all of these security phrases nice and safe because if you lose your password, these phrases are the only way to get back into your wallet and if someone else gains access to them, then they will be able to get to your money using these phrases. So keep them safe and it's gonna keep your money and your investments safe as well. So once you have the Trust Wallet downloaded, you wanna open it up and then purchase some BNB. This is the currency that you're going to need in order to buy GMR Finance. So then what you want to do is click on buy, go to BNB, and then you wanna select an amount that you're wanting to purchase. And you need to purchase at least 0.125 BNB, and this equates to 85 US dollars. If you put in anything less than that, say for example, 50 US dollars, and I know that's what it says on the minimum purchase amount, you'll be bounced back to a screen that looks just like this, and your purchase will not be sent through. So what you wanna do, you wanna go back to this BNB purchasing screen and put in $85 and that's the amount that you're going to need in order for your BNB to be purchased as you can see here 0.125 BNB as you can see on the screen here if you put in $50 it says the minimum transaction amount is 0.125 BNB so be very careful that you are putting in at least 85 US dollars which gives you 0.129 BNB which is just over that 0.125 amount that you need so please be wary of this in the comments before you say that you couldn't purchase your BNB make sure that you put in at least 85 US dollars so once you have that amount put in it'll ask you for an email address and then you'll be sent a security code specific to the email that you provided to unlock your account if you don't already have an account set up you'll just need to provide an email address some information like your personal address, the country that you're currently living in, your first and last name, and then you'll need to set up a payment option. And this is either in the form of a credit or debit card. So pop in all of that information and then you'll be able to purchase your BNB. So when you finally get to the end of providing all of that info, you'll see a screen that looks like this. It'll give you a summary of the purchase that you've made, the transaction fees that are associated with it. And then you'll hit buy. It'll be sent through and you'll get a confirmation email that again has a summary of what you've purchased. And then it can take a few minutes or a few hours for the BNB to finally end up in your account. And this can be a lengthy process, but good things come to those who wait. And then you wanna head back over to the Trust Wallet once that BNB has hit your account. And then you'll need to swap it over to the Smart Chain Network. So you wanna scroll down a little bit, click on BNB, click these three lines more, and then you wanna press swap to smart chain. And then you wanna select the amount of BNB that you're wanting to swap. So in my case, I would just hit all, press swap, and then you'll be able to swap that BNB over to the smart chain network. So then where to from here, we're gonna head over to the browse feature on the Trust Wallet. So you just wanna search for this so that browse feature is available. Click browse in the bottom left corner, or you can also search for pancakeswap.finance because for some of you pancakeswap may not be there so just search for pancakeswap.finance you want to make sure that you're on the smart chain network by clicking this icon in the top left press on smart chain and then you'll be on the correct network because there are a few other ones but you just want to make sure that you're on smart chain make sure that it's linked to your trust wallet you should see these numbers up here otherwise you can click this icon in the top right if you happen to press the icon in the top right and then it takes you to a different screen no worries you just click these three lines in the top left press on trade and that'll take you back to the screen. So then you wanna select the amount of BNB that you're wanting to swap. In my case, I'll just hit max. And then you're going to need to get the address for GMR Finance. So you wanna head over to coinmarketcap.com and then click this little search icon on the top right, type in GMR Finance and it should just pop up down the bottom as well. Scroll down a little bit, click these two little square icons next to the fox emoji. Once you've hit that, you've copied that address and then head back over to the Trust Wallet, click on select the currency, and then copy and paste that address in here. And then once you hit paste, GMR Finance shows up down there, so you know you've got the correct one. Click on it, and then you just wanna select the amount that you're wanting to swap as well for GMR, just the same way you did 
for the BNB. And then the last thing you want to do is select the slippage. So with these currencies, they are pretty volatile, especially when they first come out, pretty much all the altcoins are. So just to account for that variability in price, you need to select a slippage amount because the price that you pay for GMR Finance now can change a fair bit just in a few seconds between you actually copying pasting the address and then putting in the amount to buy the price could already have changed so that slippage accounts for that variability and because it's so volatile it does have a lot of variability to it so to select the amount of slippage click these lines up here in the top right and then for GMR Finance just start at 5% and then a 5% doesn't work then you just need to increase it by one percent each time so you'll click on five percent go buy you might see this screen if it's not the correct amount and then you just want to increase it by one percent each time so six percent seven percent eight percent nine percent and so on until the transaction works so we'll go with five percent now and then you'll just select the amount of gmr that you want and then hit purchase and then your sweet sweet gmr finance will be coming into your account and then if you happen to want to swap or sell your gmr finance you will need to just come back to this screen on pancake swap and it's pretty much the exact same process in reverse up here you would copy and paste the code for gmr finance and then down the bottom you'll have bnb instead of gmr so gmr at the top bnb at the bottom and then you'll be swapping your gmr into bnb so then you can cash out your bnb and just have it come back in your native currency whatever you happen to be using in your country so if gmr isn't showing up in your wallet you want to hit these lines in the top right click on the search feature copy and paste the address hit search and then you'll see gmr finance pops up here and then you just want to click this little arrow in the top right slide that to green and then gmr will show up in your trust wallet if you don't have that enabled you might just be wondering where's your gmr where's your money going no you haven't been scammed you just need to enable it in your trust wallet so that it does show up so make sure that feature is enabled when you have purchased your gmr so you can actually see it and see the price changes that it goes through so i hope you found that useful hope you learned something new if you want to learn more about finance and investing make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos that i've got Thank you.